No, it's, it's just Samuel L. Jackson without any pants on. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> Welcome back to another Linux Incast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, you know it. Whatever the hell else we come up with, I'm Old Man Ven here piloting our little ship in beautiful downtown Athens, Georgia, joined every week by Jordan, who's a little orange on his right side. Did you get a light? Yeah, there's a new light bulb. You ever like buy a light bulb and like it's a different color light than the other lights in the room? Yeah, you're like yeah, that yeah, that, you, that's... you got like that daylight bullshit color, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's and, happened. And, yeah, and like I have a bunch of other matching lights to this color. I just gotta like, I'm I don't know. I do that thing where I don't replace them until they burn out because that seems like a waste, right? Ah, and the other person joining us is somebody who actually is from the government, but no, he is most certainly not here to help you. One Pedro Mateus, <laughs> together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. What's up? What's new? If you've been paying attention over on Interfacing Linux, I got a thread of like, here's the shit that shows up in my mailbox. This is what I've been up to pretty much all week. This is a sound card, believe it or not. It's a sound card with a heat sink. How big is that heat sink, Pedro? It's... <laughs> That's uh, almost like single slot GPU size. <laughs> it's not like a little it's, it goes across the card. Mm -hmm. It's got weird stuff on it. Um, stay tuned for more of that nonsense. I'm going to be doing it out. But one thing I want both of you to give a check right quick with your uh, video is, um, could you make sure we're on VP9 right quick? Uh, mine uh, says AV1. Damn it, you spoiled the surprise. Aha. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Well, then <laughs> we're kind of getting it worked out. Also, we're in 1080p for uh, the relays. Pedro's is either like working real great or it's being kind of crunchy. We don't know. Like I said, I'm just testing stuff. I was Across like, Across the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 I, mean, I mean, they're still on 360p, like PAL um, in the UK. So, <laughs> Pedro's like, coming in at 50 hertz, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, the audio is fine. It's great. We, like, we do the video stuff. I was sitting there. I'm like, well, I got enough power to do this, don't I? Apparently, they. Yes, because I clearly didn't test this before, but it's mostly working. Jordan, what's new? Yes. Outside uh, of your new light. Outside of my which new is light. the one color light, though. By the way, you, you need. I, I I need I need a black light. I need to just like show all of the fucking weird stains I got well, on I mean, me. It yeah. looks like you got the fuck mothering briefcase from um, Pulp Fiction over there to your right. Yeah, well, no, it's, it's just Samuel L. Jackson without any pants on. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> his, his penis just glows that same orange no um i got one more week on the stupid weight loss thing and i have a, i have a funny story about squatting because like i lost a bunch of the body fat but i still got a bunch of the skin um and i started squatting with a belt and i you know when when you, you get in there you gotta like tighten your belt up and what i have discovered is i have enough pudge on one side of my body that when i have the belt on tight and I squat down, it folds over in on itself like a fucking flesh roll. And it is the most bizarre sensation to go through when you have several hundred pounds on your back <laughs> and you're like, does this hurt? This is uncomfortable, but what do I do? And so I had to deal with flesh roll, belly, belly flesh roll. That is my week. How, how, Can you do how the flap? You? Dude, you probably have like probably like the most uh <laughs> Guinness size like uh mushroom going on, right? No, it's it's only on one side. It's oh, only wow. on one side. Yeah. I I, I, I it's it's like this side. I got th this flub. Not really a thing over here. It's like much, much smaller pinch. Huh. Well, well, well past my thumb knuckle over on this that, side. That's like an extra fuck you. That was like asymmetry. <laughs> Deal with it. Yeah, human bodies aren't perfectly symmetrical. This, this is where that is. Yeah. Let me believe, man. Well, if slice, I close one slice, eye. Me, slice me down the middle. Right. Or I, no, you could probably do that with like fucking Da Vinci or whatever. Just like bisect me and then just have like the one half be both sides. Oh, you're right handed, aren't you? So, okay, that explains why uh, the left side is more pudgy. Right. <laughs> I thought you, you favor that one what side. Are you up to? How you doing? <laughs> I had to wake up early to go get new sunglasses because prescription. Uh huh. So uh, no, the 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 they look uh, they look okay. They're uh, a little small, a little um, quick silvery. That's the the frames. <laughs> uh, they were the only frames that looked okay outside of getting the same frames that I have for these. Let's see here. Uh, oh. 
which look like the uh, deal with it sunglasses. He's <laughs> come to Mary Fly, to the So, yeah, no, it's, uh, uh I, I genuinely like them. And uh, for the 80 pounds that they cost me, they better last a good long time. Still cheaper wow. than the, the other one, the last pair I had. So that's, that's, that's good. I, I, I bought a pair of cyberpunk sunglasses for like 20 bucks on, on the internet. Yeah, no, these have the same prescription as these, so uh yeah. <laughs> I think you may have gotten ripped off still. There 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 are there are certainly there are there are ways to get like cheaper prescription glasses. Uh, uh there are. It's uh, that that one was mostly because those frames were not uh for sunglasses originally. But it weren't the only other frames that I could actually tolerate seeing on my own face. So <laughs> I always try to like, do that okay, like strange I'll thing with like sunglasses because I want maximum coverage, but I don't like big glasses. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I'm not I like Frank. 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 Frank's a huge fan of those big um, Nirvana yeah. glasses, right? <laughs> I, 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 apparently, I look good with the with the big square lenses. So I, I, I guess I got like the right head shape for it. All right. Yeah. You think we'll ever be able to get those shades on the horse, though? No, the horse has already dealt with it, and. It's just completely checked out. You can issue your subpoenas. You can try to get it in court. It won't work. It's the steam. Well, of course, won't go to court. But Val- Valve might. Well, we got this article from the Bubica. The not not not, not that BBC. <laughs> not 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 that BBC. The did, news did I get the delay right this week, or are we echoing? <laughs> are we still uh, echoing? <laughs> of course, BBC. everyone's going to say yes. No matter what, right? This is CNN. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Valve, they're getting, they're getting sued. Uh, they're getting sued by a lady named Vicky who, um, is accusing is them that of, no, that is not, that is Lazel. Um, <laughs> al- 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 although Vicky may be about as frightening as Lazel, uh, give, given, given some of what she's doing, but yeah, v- Vicky, Vicky Showbolt is her name. She works with, um, she works with the, uh, with a, with a family special interest group in the UK. Uh, and they are uh, they are presenting a class action lawsuit, uh, claiming that Valve locks uh, locks people into their ecosystem, uh, requires a most favored nation clause uh, that stops uh, other game publishers and developers from charging less money for their games on other platforms. Which actually isn't true. That only applies to Steam keys. Now, Valve does have some sweet most favored nation deals in regards to that, but they're not the only ones. Amazon oh, no. Amazon is the biggest fucking uh, offender of that. So if we're going after them, can we please go after Amazon? And like if you if you if you go through the website, um the link it's linked to in the uh, in the article we'll probably throw it show the link in the show notes as well. This is primarily a finance uh, financial motivated class action suit. Uh, she's hoping for about twenty two to forty pounds per individual uh, as a member of the class and maybe changing their business practices. But then you go and look in their website and you look at what they're being, they're accusing valve of, and there's not a lot of water being, being held there. Um, there is some nice points about like, Hey, you know, wouldn't it be nice if DLC you bought on steam would be transferable to somewhere else. And I would love that to be the actual outcome of this case that just forces companies to do that. But again, Going after Valve here, they're not even the most egregious example of this. And as Ven will go into, this isn't the first time they've tried this either. No, and it, it, it is a juicy target. As the article points out, according to VG Insights, last year Valve made an estimated $9.1 bill or $9 billion in sales. So, uh, yeah, it's a juicy target. And they're using the same argument for this particular lawsuit that Wolfire did. Which is, uh, uh, yeah, the, the Valve is a de facto monopoly, and you can't, um, if you get your, if you want to sell your game outside of um, Steam, but still provide people with a Steam copy, you need to have that price parity. So Valve get to dictate if you want to sell Steam keys outside of Steam. Valve is dictating that you have price parity in those situations. So. The Wolfire case, or this one, whichever one ends up wrapping up first, will probably dictate what the other one's going to be. And I, I the, the whole DLC thing, I can see why, but I don't know how much water that would actually hold in court. And in practice, it doesn't hold any because, yes, if you have the if you have a game on a platform, you have, you buy the game on Steam, you probably want to get the DLC also on Steam. But I can see the situation where it's like, okay, it's much cheaper to buy the DLC there, so maybe bring that in. And 
Okay, so if the issue here is their, you know, the lack of competition and Valve just being the monster that it is and the de facto monopoly that it is because there is no competition, um, there is no competition because everyone else seems to be too focused on having exclusives on their platform, uh, forcing spyware down people's throats, uh, kernel level anti cheats, um, delisting and removing games from people's accounts. Uh, so can we just start suing Epic, Ubisoft, EA, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, and the rest for actively refusing to compete with well, Valve well, in that respect? Or, or, or how about if you're if you're going to be a, if you're going to be a children's rights advocate in the gaming space, why don't you go after companies that make predatory uh, that make games with predatory practices that take advantage of children's? They're getting around to it. She's getting yeah. around to it. This is the same law firm that went after Sony last year, and that's still going to be in a thing. You know, that's still tied up in court. You might be getting some money from that, but now now Valve's also a monopoly, so we got two monopolies because that's how monopolies work. One thing I was pretty interested uh, to see now they say it, valve forces game publishers to sign a so-called price parity obligations preventing titles from being sold cheaper on rival platforms that's bullshit that's already been covered with jordan and uh, not jordan but pedro touched on like you can generate keys if you generate keys for your steam game on steam you can't sell those cheaper you can't sell which up. that's actually a protection for the developers themselves <laughs> it did makes perfect sense like steam's being nice uh, dude it doesn't cost anything to generate steam keys like you don't get charged for that that's free money you can print not like you, yeah that makes 100 percent. like you're not going to get them on that like don't even try that that's silly i don't know or we're doing that what jordan said though imagine if you had uh your multi-pass but for video games you bought the game once and it was available on all platforms yeah, that, that would be the dream. <laughs> your yeah, your saves, your DLC, it's portable. Uh, yeah, that that would Sony be like Sony would the, hate that. Microsoft would hate that. Steam would hate that. Uh, Epic would yeah. hate that. Humble would Ever, hate that. Gog would hate that. Which which probably means it's the right thing to do. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, but everyone who's actually buying the games and wanting to keep playing those games and being available, whatever that happens to be. Yeah, everyone else would love it. <laughs> you know what? Maybe they do that, but you now all of a sudden you gotta like rent steam yeah. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta go down to blockbuster yes <laughs> that's, that's how blockbuster again, comes there's, back there's a lot of people who would go oh if i pay ten dollars a month to steam i get these you know game pass style all of these games that i can just play mm -hmm. a lot of people would probably be down for that <laughs> and a lot of developers would get money where otherwise like they would never see a penny yeah because you know all of a sudden i'd fuck around with your game even if you know but I understand why Valve doesn't want to go down that route, and I'm sure it's more like technical than anything else. Like the just logistics of getting something like that set up. It's also a lot easier when you're a sole publisher like Microsoft. You can be like, yeah, all of these games are ours. We can do whatever the fuck we want. With or you them. could try and fail miserably at it, like Ubisoft. Yeah. Like all these games are ours. Like, <laughs> and, and, and they're all the same game. You yes. want to put that shit back on Steam so people play it? You're like, yeah, we probably should. What you don't want to play EA. Assassin's Watchdog Black Flag? I, the Ubisoft game, the the same one that they've been releasing with different skins for years now. Yes. <laughs> it's new and involved. I'm like, bitch, that's just, just in Japan. It, it's yeah. literally the exact same. I watch every game. one of these release trailers. I enjoyed Assassin's Creed, the game with the different skin packs, like for a while. And like, I, I watch these trailers and I'm like, nope, that's, that's just more of that game. Well, yeah. speaking speaking of Ubisoft games on Steam, you can quit them now. No, you can't. Spoilers. <laughs> well, uh, y you can do a lot of new things because uh, the client update, which is a big beta roundup that they do every now and then, came out on June 13th. There's a bunch of stuff that got fixed, including uh, those were more Proton focused, but uh, the 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 two Linuxy ones were uh, games with names uh, containing spaces and crash when opening the overlay in certain games. Those have been fixed. the The thing that jumped out at me that is missing and has been missing ever since they did the big uh, UI upgrade was the um the ability to set different uh, options in the tray icon. Because they have a couple of fixes for the tray icon uh, in general, but none of it is the ability to set those options again. 
And that seems to be a limitation of the Linux client because people on Windows are saying, yeah, no, that option's still there on Windows. I used to trim that to just have the library, quit, and settings. That's it. And, and the recently played games at the top. Everything else would just be gone because I don't fucking use it. Uh, so can we have that again on the Linux client, please, Valve, please, please? I was, I was kind of happy to see that Overlay was busted on Windows just because I delight in the misery of all Windows users because I'm, <laughs> I'm a petty, petty little child who uh, has no joy in his life. Um, but uh, the, the, speaking of no joy, they did add for Steam input the no joy option if you also want to remove any sort of sense of happiness from your life oh, or stop nice. Steam input from uh, enumerating your controllers. Thanks, Valve. No, uh, yeah, what Jordan was touching on, man, like one of the fixes was like there's some... Uh, Titles that just wouldn't close like Ubisoft. And my immediate thought is Track Media 2020. Mm. Like I've gotten into the habit of like when I close that, make sure I open the Steam library and force close that thing um, because it just will not shut down. And I'm sure everybody's got a couple of games like that. I don't know if they're necessarily like Ubisoft titles. The Steam client doesn't shut down for me. I have nah, to. Nah, dude, that's uh, just KDE being KDE, man. Come on. That's, that, that's just Fedora not shutting <laughs> no, down. That, that's Fedora. That's not a KDE <laughs> thing. That's a Fedora thing. <laughs> so there you go. Coming up next is uh, Steam Deck related because how long has the Steam Deck been out now? A year and some change, right? 2022? Uh, it's so, been two years. A couple of months. Yeah. <laughs> like eight months now? A, a, yes. About a week. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Two years and three months? No. 24 hours and 16 days. (laughs) What I really kind of predicted, like, right when this was, you know, the first announcement, like, people are just going to buy that and put Windows on and play Windows games. We were wrong. Why? Because Windows is a dumpster fire on the Steam Deck. (laughs) I think you could just shorten that to Windows is a dumpster fire, period. Fair enough. (laughs) Uh, The lads over at XDA developers decided they're going to take a fresh crack at it. Find out what works, and uh, hey, you know one thing now? It's easy to set up a dual boot between Windows and Linux, you know? Or Windows and Arch, however you want to look at it. So th- that's a bonus. I'm, I'm good you, on that. You, you still do need to have uh, the separate, them on uh, separate drives. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. so uh, out of the box, man, like the drivers are there for the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, audio drivers. They work, but... Only on the LCD model. If you bought one of those OLED, like, get wrecked. None of that shit works. <laughs> oh, you. nice. I thought that was kind of wild. Um, and they said some things launched. XDA just couldn't be arsed to like actually test performance, but they did link to a year-old video on YouTube of somebody testing the performance because that's representative of fuck nothing. Good on you, <laughs> XDA. So, you know, th- they make a good point in here, though. You know, you want something like this for the consumer for those titles that you cannot play under Linux. And there's like three or four of them, all anti-cheat related stuff, you know, Destiny 2, LOL. Fortnite's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, things like <laughs> that. Like that's good for the Steam Deck to be able to easily pop in and be able to play that stuff and boot back to your regular um, Steam OS. So uh, yeah, there you go. I, I really was hoping that it was like just 100% everything worked. Uh, you know, you don't get any of your steam overlay stuff that you get with steam os why because you kind of kind of tie that stuff in a little deeper than i sure valve wants to be fucked trying to do that with windows no no game them. scope yeah no game scope no no game <laughs> scope i mean it it's still in the category of doable and it's probably not gonna you know basically all the same problems that you run into with all of the other um not steam decks we have steam decks at home from like asus and other it, it, lovable com- companies it really goes to show you fucking <laughs> game scope is kind of the killer app here right like I mean, it gets the job done, man. And, yeah. you know, you get better battery life on Linux, which is okay, but it's and, yeah, true. The, the right side overlay to the power menu, it gives you access to the CPU and GPU and a bunch of firmware specific uh, controls directly from the overlay, mm-hmm. which, yeah, you're not going to get that on uh, on on Windows. The thing that surprised me, though, is this is XDA developers, but at least they're not complaining that uh, using Holo ISO as a desktop OS is a bad idea. Yeah, <laughs> I still I'm remember ha- that. <laughs> Listen, it's XDA developers. I'm happy I didn't have to click on a Mediafire link. <laughs> yeah, or uh, scroll to uh, page 21 to find the updated link to the new build. But yeah, no, uh, the, the, the whole thing 
comes down to bespoke OS for the device that it was specifically built for in the first place yeah. is the best choice. In other shocking news, Sky reportedly still blue. And you got nobody to blame but AMD. AMD's like, we're not <laughs> giving a window. It's like, yeah, they technically work. Fuck off. Yeah, no, the graphics work. It's just the uh, audio, the Wi-Fi. Not if you got an OLED, baby. <laughs> not if you got an OLED. Yeah, no, th- those are the ones that are not working on the, the OLED. Yeah. But if you like the graphics wise, the OLED one is there. It's just no audio, no Wi Fi, no Bluetooth. <laughs> hey, I like the idea of um, something that is usable. Like that adds, again, it adds value. Even for, like if I'd bought a Steam Deck, I'd want, because if you got a bunch of Linux stuff at home and you got like seven Linuxes installed all over your Linuxes, like I do, um, you still need a Windows machine. I'd still need a Windows machine on occasion because it's some of these old ass interfaces. I got to plug in a FireWire card and the application only runs because I got to get to the ASIC or whatever and flip a bit. And, you know, I have Jordan's old PC that I had for uh, his WebRTC client. It's got Windows 10 on it. It's sitting in the storage room and I pull it out, but I wouldn't mind like a little Steam Deck or something small that I could just boot into real quick and be done with it. So, uh, yeah, there's the current state of things. It works if you try hard enough. Oh. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> Progress. Ta-da. <laughs> we got some new games this week because next we, fest, don't we? We do, yeah. There's lot, lots of demos out, uh, but there's some releases out as well. Tales of Iron 2 Whiskers of Winter is available. What is it? You ever play Salt and Sanctuary? Well, it's like that. You ever play Armello? Well, it's kind of like that mixed with Salt and Sanctuary. Um, <laughs> you play as a cute little animal and you try and murder things with your axe. Uh, it's a, it's a you know action RPG. Uh, much in the vein of your Salt and Sanctuaries or your Metroidvanias. Um, and yeah, it's narrated by Geralt, not not Hemsworth, not not Cavill, but like the, the one from the game. Who I, apparently he's, he does a lot of shit. Um, he's Ball in Baldur's Gate 3. He's Victor Ran. Uh, D- Doug Cockle is the guy's <laughs> name. I had to look that up. Yeah. Yep. I did. Yeah. yeah. yeah it, 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 it's, it's in the thing. It's like featuring RPG legend Doug Cockle. Like, who? Oh, that guy. All right. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely got a um, Darkest Dungeon type art style with a flat. And, mm-hmm. you know, I wouldn't mind some more gameplay in your damn trailer, guys. Uh, but here's the thing. That's the first trailer. <laughs> what? Cra- All right. There we go. Hey, do you know how rare that is? Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. Gameplay trailer, you know, with gameplay, it's usually the second or like the 19th. Uh, depending yeah, on no, for, the yeah. new uh, Steam Store uh, rules say that the the first two trailers, w- at least one of them, should have gameplay. <laughs> right. I, 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 it's usually like in one of them, but usually not the first. So good on you guys. There's a demo that you can go download and play it because why else would you download a demo? Let me know in the comments. And um, I mean, it looks fun. I didn't get a chance to play around with this one. Um, when is it coming out? Who knows? It's coming so soon. Yeah. Spoon. The first one has been out for a while, and the first one is very much inspired by Batracomio Machia, which is the um the parody uh um of the um Homer's novel, uh the big one. What's it called? The, Od- the Odyssey. Odyssey. The Odyssey, thank oh. you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's basically uh, that, but told with mice and frogs and the battle I, of I, them. I'm, but I unrelated, just 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 because <laughs> I'm a big Greek mythology nerd. Yeah. I love the fact that like the Odyssey and the Iliad are like chapters five and eight of this much larger work that we that just, the rest of it just doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> just got lost to time, uh, but yeah, no, this well, one hey, is man, it, you know it expands some fanfic, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's called, it's called Hades go. 2. <laughs> and, and yeah, everyone's no, this one super expands hot. beyond the frogs. You're not just fighting frogs, you're fighting bats and other stuff. Do you other get to stuff. fight fractions? Uh, yes. <laughs> but yeah, no, this is a, a different um, mouse kingdom because you're playing as a... Uh, I can't remember the what name of the kingdom. What was their other mouse uh, war game? Tooth and Tail, right? Yeah. Yes. Tooth, tooth yeah. and Tail. That was or, the strategy um, one. <laughs> yeah. Or like Grimdark Redwall. Maybe a little bit. If you, y- y'all remember that Redwall books, Mart- Martin the Warrior, the, ba- the Badgers. No, no. no. So, so send me some hate mail if you fucking right. remember Redwall. <laughs> Red Wall. Yeah. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, War on Wheels. This is something I did download and play for a little bit. Um, and by play, I mean I had to smash that proton button because you forgot to populate your Linux depot, Brad. 
Oops, this is yet oops. another demo from Steam Next Fest. All of our games this week and our new game category come from that. Uh, so you can go out and play it right now. It's not going to cost you anything. What is it? You destroy your opponents, man. Uh, what got my attention? It's a car. And you got lances on each side. And I'm like, all right, medieval combat. Uh, car oh. jousting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Carmageddon. <laughs> Those are some Rocket League style vehicles too, right? Like they are. That's what I'm looking at, man. And um, then I played it. it. I'm going to say the trailer is very accurate. To it is that's it. It is. It drops you into an arena. It's like, hey, want to try out the story mode? It's under development. It just drops you into an arena. And there's one screen. It's like there's where your controls are. So as you can see, you get to boost around. That's a thing. And there's a flip mechanic that you. I'm not 100 percent on how you use that. <laughs> and you got lances and eventually if you smash into another car there's not much strategy to it it blows up and sometimes you blow up that's about it man um there you go go go, yeah. go try it yourself there's a demo I, I, I mean like i i saw that i'm like oh so this is medieval rocket league burnout all right well you know if you throw <laughs> enough wacky shit in there in your bonkers fantasy shit in your driving game i i will check it out well it's yeah. single player though oh yeah. that's that why, why that this requires multiplayer right <laughs> right Medi- that's the medieval thing. demolition derby like uh, th- that's the thing it's not medieval uh, de- demolition derby this is um mountain blade but with cars <laughs> so, so, uh, which is so, kind so, of what i want to play i very much once the game proper is finished like they have the uh yeah conquer the the overworld and then you GMC, get into battles Montana by going blade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah it is just mountain blade but with cars and i kind of want to play that very much <laughs> everyone go i mean if you're thinking about that try the demo i'm with jordan like need to get any entertainment out of it like there needs to be more um there, there needs to contact. be a giant soccer ball <laughs> <laughs> yes maybe some medieval soccer was played medieval times mother we can make this work all right right <laughs> We can make this like, work. Just like, come on, come on, guys! Just legally distinguish all is all we're going for. We already it's, get them. It, it's it's ballista league, super sop, sonic combat, medieval rocket racing. Yes, there we Steam, go. Steam powered rocket instead of atomic. Oh my god! <laughs> Coal um, power. Jordan, we get another blast from the past. Yeah, hold on. I got to put a bunch of glitter on my body because it's time to talk about vampires. Everyone's favorite topic, Castlevania Revamped. It's a fan game from Level 4 Games. Uh, it is a reimagining, reinterpretation of the original Castlevania game. Um, it has some elements from like more modern Castlevanias. The controls are definitely a lot smoother and a lot more responsive. Uh, and uh, it's available as an app image. You could, you got to go to their YouTube page to down, to get the download link <laughs> because they can, they can't just fucking share it on Twitter. No, they got to go to, go watch my YouTube trailer. But you know you can download it. It's like 100 megs or whatever. Uh, it runs starts on in a little postage stamp. You hit the you hit start game. You can go down to the options menu and then you can go to uh you can go to uh window scale and that can bump up the resolution or you can select full screen. Um, uh, yeah, that I, I'm not a big fan of, I think options should come before start game. I think you should be I, before, uh, dude, like if you get, if you're doing something on Linux, man, give me flags. We all expect flags. Yeah. Let me dash, punch dash that help. in. Yeah. yeah something mm-hmm. like that. Like, let, let me, cause that's what I was looking for. That's the first thing I wrote in show notes. I'm like, is there a way to get to that? And Jordan's like, no. And I'm like, well, it doesn't exist for me, man. Uh, I was, I was trying to find it, but I guess it is there, but there is a button to go to full screen, which I found out later and I'm like, okay, put it in full screen, then adjust it. Problem solved. And you might have saw if you're watching the video version. Um, Simon can slide now. Also, he's Goku. <laughs> S- S- Simon Goku, yeah. Yeah. And there you go. You're fighting um, Dracula. Revamped. It's free. There's an app image. Runs on Linux. I played it on Debian 12, which is the, uh, you're doing something wrong if it doesn't run on Debian 12, so it should run on anything. Out now. Ru- Runs on Fedora 39, so... Get it I mean, before it's Konami image, it's probably... sues somebody. Yeah. <laughs> hey, before... Konami is not as uh, litigious as uh, Uncle Nintendo, so... No, they're, they're, <laughs> they're just going to turn it into a pachinko machine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pixels of the night. <laughs> or, or try to sell it as an NFT. <laughs> Let's, let's, talk, let's talk about some game updates. I don't Pedro. know, dude. Like the, uh, there's a good point to be made about like NFTs. Uh, what was it? Maximilian... He was talking about, and he knows a little bit about this, according to him anyway, of like, um, who makes Final Fantasy? Square. 
square. square. Like they were going balls in on NFTs and they like had to redo multiple games. Like, wait a minute. That's all. A sham? Fuck. <laughs> I'm going to rework stuff. That's like, that's why your game is delayed. Thanks, NFTs. No. Yep. This game is uh, also not delayed because of NFTs. It's delayed because it's taking the time to work on. Yeah. They've been promising an update to Path of Exile for a long, long time. And they decided, you know what? Rather than just updating this game and probably pissing a bunch of people off, let's make Path of Exile 2. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're actively optimizing it for the Steam Deck which Yay. is good then again this is the same company that even with the first path of exile they always made sure that the game at least worked with wine which i very much applauded back in the day and it's great to see that they're now that they have the hardware to back it up as well because they claim that they have a steam deck to properly test things on it's very good to see that they're still actively uh following that particular way of working very much appreciated i I played a lot of the first Path of Exile, so I'm probably going to play a lot of that one too. So. I have a problem with, with Diablo likes. Um, I, I'm very, very picky about the types of games that I get into, but when when I do, and I start clicking, oh man. So uh, just just what I need, just crack that I can take everywhere. That, that's great. I, I, I look I look forward to my mental health. And, and well, you know, this isn't there. like rampant audio, audience speculation. Noah from Steam Deck HQ ran into them at an event where they were demoing the game, asked them, like, yeah, we're, we're going to make sure it works. Yeah, it's it's mm -hmm. Diablo with a sphere grid, man. Like, what, what what more do you want from me? Done. Yeah, hook, hook it into my veins. All right. Up Maybe next. I run it on my arm laptop. We don't really talk about it on the show a whole lot unless we're like talking about Fex. You know, Fex is uh, x86 mm -hmm. to arm, and like, well, you know, that's going to get interesting when we have a big beefy arm pro. And there it is. Tuxedo's working <laughs> on getting that Snapdragon Elite SOC from Qualcomm into a laptop. That's pretty cool, man. They had a prototype that they were showing off at Computex. Unfortunately, it got stuck in a bit of a wee boot loop that they were not able to solve. But um, I want it. They're, they're already working on the um, Mark II of this. So if you don't know about the Snapdragon, you know, 12 core, 20 watt TDP, 16 inch. Well, this is a 14 inch uh, display mm -hmm. on this laptop. Aluminium body, USB 4 holes, HDMI, all the fun stuff. 32 gigs of that SOC memory RAM. and by all accounts 20 watts at a 50 watt hour battery you're getting some battery life out of that <laughs> no it's, it's going to be like one of the uh, new m series uh laptops like you plug it in every few days and we're not talking about this is you using it at 10 percent screen brightness and not watching like just straight up using the damn thing yeah <laughs> this is a game changer hopefully it is and like windows is like being all windowsy about stuff and qualcomm's not fucking around man qualcomm's got a version of debbie and you can download and put on this thing right now it, it, does, it, it may get into a boot loop, but they're working on it. It might. We'll <laughs> see. This is what Tuxedo says. Like, we're waiting on, like, maybe one, two more kernel versions for some things Qualcomm's working on to get upstream to the kernel, and it's going to work. Mm -hmm. So. And it is nice to see some plain Jane Debian getting a bit of spotlight, because normally that would be, like, Ubuntu running on it, right? That would, right. Yeah. yeah. Or Manjaro. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, no, uh, unfortunately, this... Uh, current bunch of uh, really interesting looking uh, Snapdragon Axe laptop announcements seem to have reignited the fire under uh, Qualcomm's ass and the flames are shaped like ARM lawyers because uh, yeah uh, back in 2022 ARM um, sued Qualcomm uh, because Qualcomm apparently deviated from one of the licensing agreements that they had with ARM specifically oh, for do you know the, the story behind this? Uh, I put, posted a link in the... Uh... <laughs> About the company that they bought with the license yeah, to Nuvia. do server development. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think yeah. I knew someone I knew someone who was working at Nuvia for a while. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, that is still unresolved. So now uh, ARM has basically said, kill those laptops, kill the, that entire line of uh, CPUs. Yeah, dis Just physically destroy it. Yeah. yeah, physically just don't. So, I mean, out of all the brands that are releasing these laptops, Tuxedo is the one that I'd actually probably give my money to. Uh, but it's mm, got to be super, like, super, super clear, man. Is uh, Tuxedo's <laughs> not making these? They're these are rebadges, you know, like yeah. System Seventy Six <laughs> does. So you will be able to buy like a non Tuxedo version and just you know play the home game with like vanilla Debian if you want. Yeah, the ARM thing's a little bit sticky because that 
server company had a, a license with ARM. And you know what, what ARM really wanted to do right now was to, well, back then and still currently, they want to make room in the server space. Mm -hmm. So they mm -hmm. gave me like a nice cut rate on licensing. Like go out and build some bitching ass, crazy server grade ARM stuff. And they did. And Qualcomm's like, those are neat. Let's just buy this company and we'll <laughs> transfer all that over. Now ARM's coming back going, you can't transfer a license like that, Qualcomm. Qualcomm's mm -hmm. like, but we already got a perpetual license with you that says it does. We can. So they're going to decide that in court. <laughs> no, yeah. These things are going to be out for years. Yeah, no, that's the thing. Uh, Qualcomm countersued uh, ARM. So until that entire thing is settled, they're just going to keep pushing it. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's safe to buy one and they're not going to come to your house like, you know, in like 2032 and be like, hey. <laughs> no, maybe, maybe maybe Jensen might be like, you should have bought an NVIDIA laptop, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Coming sooner, and you know, this always goes back to what I mentioned last week, man, or maybe a week before last, uh, I want some desktop boards with this chip in it. So yeah, some, some non like thermal bound, just like slap, slap a hundred, a thousand watt PSU on that sucker they, and see what you can do Show with me it. what this chip does with water cooling. With, with, with liquid helium cooling, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, just a 360 AIO keeping it at, like, <laughs> room temperature. That's what I was Let's see if I can get it sub-ambient. <laughs> Ooh, um, active refrigeration. Dude, I, I'm down with that. Uh, it's good to see Tuxedo's already on it. Like I said, there's been heavy development with us, and they plan on having something else. They said, time scale, like, maybe by Christmas, Christmas, but <laughs> it was wishy-washy enough to, like, get wrecked if we don't make that. <laughs> And it's, these are not yeah, going to be no, cheap. Is, Let me go ahead and point that out. These are not, uh, I mean, this is a this is not, for, first, first gen, right? Like, yeah. well, just this type of laptop. Like, this is a top end. This is a top end chip from Qualcomm. Like, Qualcomm will probably make lower grade versions of the Snapdragon. This is the YOLO 9000. So you're going to be looking, you know, 12, 1300 bucks for one of these as a yeah. starting price. You think we're going to start seeing a lot of those lower grade ones just like fill out a bunch of Chromebooks? That's just going to be what it does. I mean, if I was going to get a Chromebook, I'd want one of those, right? Yeah. 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 I doubt, doubt the Chrome. Well, I mean, there don't might you want be like, like a, a little pixel like, Chromebook, I, dude, another one? <laughs> they could destroy some shit because, especially like if they have the full integration, like a full stack, like camera and all this shit working. This is like according to Qualcomm, and like they have mm -hmm. a repo to where you can follow all this stuff mm -hmm. that they're pushing into the kernel. They're upstreaming this shit. Like they're really working on this then qualcomm releases a oh i don't know like an eight core variant of this with 16 gigs of ram as an soc for 100 bucks yeah right now yeah i talked about this on wednesday this is the one intel's worried about intel's not worried about amd you want like in our head and you're like it's amd and intel now with laptops why amd doesn't have the fab capacity to compete with laptops so you know, you're like, it's undercutting from Dell. And it's like, no, uh, Dell puts in an order. They need a billion laptops. AMD's like, we can't reserve that much fab well, space. Let me finish. Dell, Dell's case specifically is different because there okay, was that Okay, then let's uh, change out that... Dell to HP then. Okay. Fine. <laughs> well, actually. So, <laughs> to get the general purpose point across is Qualcomm has the fab shit. Qualcomm is used to making a billion or something. Yeah, because like basically every <laughs> stone is is, 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 is is an ARM computer, right? Like, yeah. They know this. They're, they got this. They they got the logistics of like how many you need, Dell? How many you need HP? And Intel's like Dell De Dell and HP, yeah. And that that's the scary thing for, for Lenovo, Intel, Asus, yeah. yeah uh, and uh, I I that's the thing. I really want one of these big high-end um arm laptops because having played around with the um the pinebook pro it's raspberry pi 4 levels of performance which is neat for a laptop form factor but it's not great so yeah you it, you, you, you want to want to do actual work on it right no like, no <laughs> why not what wouldn't run <laughs> Uh, it, the moment you open up a browser, the whole thing stutters. <laughs> it's like gen, like general web browsing and such. Mm. Video is fine, 
As long as you Vi don't move the mouse. If you move okay, the mouse, first the video off, stutters. First off, you can browse with links, and VLC's got an ASCII render. So I've already solved <laughs> your first two problems. Keep them coming. It's just, the, that's the thing. It, the moment you do anything that's remotely demanding, unless you have a highly specified image that you're running, uh, it is genuinely not a very good general use machine. But I want a general use arm machine. I want the big honking one. Mm -hmm. Those, so, those might yeah. be it. Hopefully we get like some SBCs or something like that. And it'll be dope. And one thing Qualcomm really knows how to do is cameras too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like the cameras on these laptops are probably going to be on hinge, like iPhone ish, like last gen iPhone instead of that Smiro vision that you normally get. Like good time. just your standard webcam laptop, just like pick, pick it, pick a webcam. Laptop. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. Uh, good job. I uh, Look forward to uh, more stuff coming out of Tuxedo and hopefully like System76 is like send us some of those laptops too. It's a German manufacturer making these, I'm sure. You know, System76 will find a US supplier and put pop, risky pop, pop risk. <laughs> ris ris risky pop is something to do with like Janet Jackson's nipple or something. I don't know. <laughs> is that an STD? <laughs> Listen, I, I, I took some Risky Pop back at Fire Festival, and uh, I'm starting to itch in some uh, some uncomfortable places now. Speaking of fluids leaking, uh, my, no, uh, let's let's talk about, let's talk about Epic leaks. I was um, gonna let you have it. I, I no, 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 nothing I could have said there would have been remotely remotely appropriate for anything. Um, yeah, so uh, this is from WCCF Text. Links to all this in our show notes. We also have a Reddit link as well. But, um, you know, there, uh, there is apparently uh, APIs that Epic, the Epic Game Store exposes uh, that would allow you to look at some of the stuff that is coming down the pipe, some new releases. Uh, and some fine enterprising folks have been scraping that um, and have found some, uh, some interesting conclusions. Um, most, uh, uh, mostly just games that will be coming out in the Epic Game Store. We don't really have a sense of what the time frame is, just that they will be available on the store. Um, and a bunch of these guys are just code names. So folks in the Reddit thread are having some fun trying to guess what uh, Kondo and Offenbach are. But we do have a couple mo more than likely candidates, including uh, Doom Eternal, Dragon Age 4, Battlefield 2042. Um, yeah, uh, I, we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about some of the other ones. But yeah, the uh, the hole that they were using in their services to gather this information has been plugged according to Epic. So uh, no more leaks. But what? What? I don't. I don't know. Let's let's go over some some of these names. Debussy. I, I don't. Uh, know. My, uh, yeah, dude. I, I can't wait for the Sega's take on Curly Whirly. Right. Like, Debussy I, Doc Project B. Docked, yeah. I'm Jimmy curious Changa. what Bethesda's Pippet is. Oh, <laughs> Project but, Batman. Likely bloodlines too. All right. Sure. But, but butter caca. What? Hey, man. It's no Angolati. Angolati. Sure. Ag Ag Scott Wolf. <laughs> Momo, Momo is probably FF9. Bifrost A, not to be confused with Bifrost B. Kamel Blanc. JP, apparently that is um, DA4. What's DA4? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Chopin. Archipelago. Chopin. Archipelago. Bovinet. Nuclear Lamount. banana coming from Rebellion. <laughs> Might be Amphal. Balboa. Dragonfly. Potassium. Might Good be among potassium. Us. I hope uh, it gets which, a sequel. Among Us 2, but that's apparently been cancelled, so. <laughs> the, oh, Dragon uh, Age 4. Okay, right. <laughs> no, like, there's a, a speculation that we're getting a new Turok, too. That'd be dope. Um, the biggest takeaway from me was that there's the equivalent of Steam DB for uh, the Epic Game Store. I didn't know it merited enough anything. Pe people pe people want to know when free games are coming, right? I yes. mean, I guess. <laughs> and like, you know, the Epic DB was responsible for like hoovering this up like accidentally too. And they're like, oh, look at all this, all these code names. I wonder, oh, oh okay. But Epic has said, they have said that we've worked to make it secure. So no more random somebody, somebody's job at Epic is this. Like, that's all yeah. they do. This is all, that, they hate their job. <laughs> they are disgruntled <laughs> as hell. Their job they they have like one thing to name every three days. The rest of the time they gotta like play solitaire. What if it's just Pavel? What 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 if what if he, what if he got hired? They're just like stop doing Steam DB, come work for us. And uh, does it just have like random name generator for a single name opens like <laughs> refresh? 
like that that was i don't know that, man that <laughs> but i see stuff like that i'm like that's somebody's job dude they gotta do that <laughs> like that I w- my dream job would be the guy who like writes the puns for Arnold Schwarzenegger to say after he kills a guy in a movie. All right. that's, that's that's what I want. That's my dream job. What do we get him next? Uh, freedom the to mirror. own. <laughs> yes, look yourself in the mirror and uh, yeah, behind the man in the mirror. Yeah, it's a self-described open source Roblox and uh, UEFN alternative. We talked about it before, and it's built on Godot and Nest.js. And it allows you to own everything, you know, unlike Roblox. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it is, it's a very good idea. The way that they're doing it, they're hitting all of the right notes. Uh, it has an easy-to-use creator with uh, minimal coding, engine, and IDE all-in-one. It's using Godot, and it has an upcoming marketplace uh, for people to put their assets up. So I, I should it, I should say it, it it is actually a forked version of Godot. Um, it is not it is not stock Godot. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's not stock Godot, but yeah, it, using Godot. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's genuinely a very good idea, and it's. I think I said this in the original story, and I'll say it again. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> you, you, you have you, everything you, you, in place. Don't fuck it uh, up. <laughs> I, I I looked it up. You told them to get fucked. Uh, I believe was your exact words. So oh, okay. <laughs> um, but but yeah, uh, as as Pedro mentioned, we talked about this way back when in LGC six oh six. If you want to, if you want to hear our takes back then and see if we have changed our minds at all, um, they did have their first release back in May. Uh, it's mostly just a lot of technical stuff in there. Uh, it doesn't look like they have any other, um, m- nothing, nothing too crazy. It looks like they're just kind of ramping up, which is, which is good. Um, it would be nice to see, um, this become a bit more of a prominent thing and become a serious competitor to something like, uh, Fortnite or to Roblox. Uh, yeah. I, I'd like I, to I, see I, the like, community jump on something like that. Do you know the, um, open source, uh, League of Legends thing we talked about a couple of weeks ago? You remember that? Guy was doing um, that real implementation. Okay, uh, sounds sounds vaguely familiar. I we gave, we gave it to, they didn't really have anything where they had like a scaffolding. They are throwing down on that for the past couple mm. of weeks. Like that is getting multiple like updates mm. every day. So I'm curious. They even have a little prototype up and running. I'm sure if you type in open source uh, League of Legends, you might find it on LinuxGameCast.com. But yeah, open Roblox or something similar. This is what it needs to be. This is what it needs to be. Let's, let's take, you know, keep the creativity and the tools there to engage young and old, but let's remove the money funnel. The, 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 the predatory bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let people do it because like, Hey, I like doing this. And like, you know, we can still have, you know, you're still going to spark those ideas and developments without getting t- caught into like, whatever. I'm still not hundred percent on what Roblox is, <laughs> but my free unpaid child labor where, yes. what, how, how am I going to make money without it? Shut up, parent. <laughs> well, that's what the, 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 the Hollywood parent, you know. Yeah, oh. So, hey, that's going to do it for the news this week. But if you got something you want to talk to us about, uh, show up and chat when we're live. That's an easy way to do it. People are uh, starting to figure that out. And uh, if you want to scream at us, leave us a YouTube comment under the video. We're going to check those over on Patreon. We're definitely going to check those. But. You can go over to Linux Gamecast and use our contact form, fill that, smash the submit, and you're done. We get a message, we'll look at it. If it's good enough, we'll talk about it right here. And that's what we're going to be doing this week with Doc for... Oh, Wait, there we hang go. on, I get hey, to do it. Hang on, I get yes, to do it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Just in time. I fucking called it. I fucking called it. Amazing. <laughs> Great. Watch the pre-pre-super shows. This is from Doc Frank. Doc Frank for for Frank. Uh, and he says, I've been using uh, ARC's A77 for a while now on Linux. I'm happy with it. Performance could be better, sure, but everything just kind of works, uh, except for the odd shader artifacts here and there in games like Cyberpunk. The only thing I could re- I really miss on the card is VR support. The A310 in my NAS also works like a charm as a transcoder card. For that purpose, it could even run without a fan on it based on some testing I did. Fiddled with RX 78 or 7900 XT for a bit, but that card just kept crashing and locking up my system. No matter what kind of load was on the card, and even that happened on Win- Linux and Windows, that's why I got the A770 instead. Yeah, I don't know. I've been very, very happy with my 7800 XT. I plugged it in and it worked. 
You uh, bought but, a dud. <laughs> but you know, I'm I'm glad that you're having a good experience with the A770. It's all it's always like a weird one. We don't hear a lot of people like saying, "Hey, I'm a proud Intel car order, card owner." Here is my experience. Here is the pitfalls. Here is what you should work look out for. Here is what works well. Here is what doesn't. Uh, because I think we we have collectively we have a lot of hopes and dreams pegged on on Battle Mage and Celestial and all these other things that Intel may or may not be releasing, depending on what kind of boneheaded decisions their execs make. Um, but you know, you know, the 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 hard the hardware is there. We would we would like to see it run well, but you know that has to be also tempered with realism. And we're we're in the situation where like old AMD cards were where like every couple months you're gonna unlock some new performance as shit become as as the ecosystem expands for your Intel card. I, I think they, Arc is kind of a weird one because let's be honest, Intel has abandoned Arc. They're done. Yeah. With it. Why? Because they got to put everything they have into Battle Mage. I hope they're doing that. I genuinely hope they're doing that. The sunshine of optimism <laughs> that is Pedro Mateus, always focusing on the. Because it's Intel. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. It's like, how, how are they going to? It's, it's like Krillin. How, are, how is he going to fuck it up? Right? Uh, <laughs> I, I genuinely hope that Intel is making Battle Mage competitive. Doesn't need to be anything else at this point. It just needs to be competitive. It's the, uh, the, the, the first generation Ryzen. It doesn't need to win. It just needs to be good enough. And, uh, Arc wasn't good enough. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a baby step, but... I think we're all still looking at Arc and like, if you could have just gotten that out like 13 <laughs> months earlier. Yeah, uh, release six, it in the middle of the GPU apocalypse and you would have made fucking bank. <laughs> even six months. Even, we, even then we're oh, like, yeah, come yeah. on, yeah, even, come on, Intel, just, just, just do something. <laughs> but th- th- those drivers, man, they weren't there. They, they weren't there. The silicon wasn't there. Their driver team disappeared. Um, they couldn't, yeah, it's like there was a, everything that could have went wrong with Arc went wrong with Arc, which gives me hope that there's still like the, there's serious push at Intel. Like we got to do this. So <laughs> they, theoretically have enough brain power and talent to do it mm-hmm. wh- whether or not they they execute is is the other question it's completely being able to get it down to do it and battle mage is you know we need that like in here's another thing like they can take their time we're not going to like that why can they take their time because there's no competition for the low to mid range nobody's mm-hmm. paying it any <laughs> attention like we have pittances being thrown out by amd and at nvidia like nobody has a compelling card when Nvidia is what releasing thirty series cards again because yeah the thirty fifty six gig yeah that's it that's the lowest that you get nobody's looking at a forty sixty and going mm, I'm saving up for that uh, yeah so it would be nice to have a good value card you know price performance back on the market and Intel uh, can very easily walk in and dominate that market because AMD and Nvidia is just like whatever we've. Thank you, pandemic. We found out that people will spend twelve hundred dollars on a fucking video card. It's awesome because you people are part of the problem. Quit buying twelve hundred dollar video cards. Yeah. Rolls down to it's their market to take because what I originally said: AMD, Nvidia, not paying any attention to this market. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't give a shit. Like AMD is surprising because they don't have anything. Go try to fucking rent some time on an AMD uh, compute shit. And why? Because it doesn't work with fucking VMs. They, they, they can't even you can't even get a hold to it like it's it's in that bad estate yep. people so i don't know why amd isn't like dropping the prices maybe the silicon is that expensive to make right now maybe the fab maybe it's just like and they maybe it's literally just intel's prices are high enough that they're just like yeah whatever we'll just be 10 percent less and whatever and amd doesn't have any competition either because if nvidia is busy you know with the high high end and the compute stuff and everything else that they're doing AMD is like, okay, so we're the consumer grade highest that most people can afford. And um, Intel, uh, yeah, Intel has, uh, has some catching up to do. <laughs> it's wide open, though. Like, it, it, like Ben said, it, 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 it is their field to take because if they can come out yes. with something like super compelling at like a decent price point, it, it doesn't have to be great. It doesn't, like, it, mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be the best thing on the market. It's just got to be good enough. Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap us up for tonight. If you like what we do and you're like, hey, man, I, I want to keep this nonsense chugging along. I want you to head over to Linux Gamecast, smash that support button because we got Patreon. We got LibrePay, PayPal. And of course, uh, 
magic internet money, but we also got wish lists. If you want to pick up something for the show, you can send in a note. We'll read it. And we're like, ah, and I'll even draw your name back here on the board because I think it's silly. We got a merch store, Amazon storefront. If you're curious about what's in the studio, head over there. Take a look. Buy it wherever you want. I don't care. And of course, our humble affiliate bundle. I want to give a mention to uh, Erod, 2532 for that sub, and Frazara for that four-month resub as well. We do appreciate it. Come check us out. If you are a patron, you get a bunch of extra stuff thrown in, like access to our Discord. You get this show live in podcast format. You don't have to worry. I know YouTube's about to start inserting ads into fucking videos. We didn't even mention that. That's the thing that's going to happen. Guess what? There's a video version over on Patreon. Buck a week. Guaranteed. Just download it. Watch it however you want to do it. I do it myself. Go get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to do it for this week. It looks like the Jitsi server held on and the camera only overheated e. once. E. <laughs> Praise Almo. So on that, yes. Oh. A, a round of applause <laughs> for Jordan for having the foresight of uh, getting Fire Elmo <laughs> up and running. Well, let's go ahead and cue the music. If you want to get in touch with me, I am over on X at Vinstone. I'm on our Mastodon instance, mass.linuxgamecast.com at Vin, and I'm on Blue Sky at just type in Vin, you'll probably find me because it's like me and 12 other people. I'm Jordan. I might not be the best on the market, and I'm probably not good enough either. Follow me on Twitter at The Burning Fool, on Mastodon at Frojo at mass.linuxgamecast.com, or on Blue Sky at Frojo at (laughs) bsky.app. You've tried the best, now try to rest. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I, I am not a Spacer's Choice. You can find me at unaccounted for at mass.linuxgamecast.com, which is uh, the last of my uh, social media accounts. So, uh, yeah, find me there. What's going to be the social media <laughs> account that gets you uh, back into social media? I mean, you're never into, so you're, you're a lurker. So it doesn't yes. really matter where you <laughs> lurk, does it? <laughs> That's the thing. Once social media as a thing kind of gets replaced by whatever comes next. You just pop over there and start lurking there. L- I'll, lurker, I'll be, yeah, lurker I'll be the lurker there. <laughs> time for some credits. Actually, you're going to get last week's credits. I didn't have time. Swicey, <laughs> week two. Let's go. More, too Swicey, too furious. Well, I got to thank the people flying through space. I think they can breathe. Maybe they can. It's their problem. We gotta thank Omega Star Theorem. We gotta thank our executive producers, Bart Bramp, Scott, Atomic, Mike, Tomaj, David, Eshep, Ian, Kurducky, one, two, three, four, five, Haplo, and Drummer, and our little Nikki fans, to Podesto, Empty, Glorious Eggy, and Turbo underscore Tree Sloth. We have the sea monsters with no Rider X Mac and a Trudgy for it to new the Justin Darkwing system D Nessing Joe. The Kresny, Ogie One and Frostclaw. With the Death Notes, Nova, Chad, Romeo, Renee, Leonardo, Kim, Chris, Stephen, Joel, Benjamin, Doom, Do Not Watch, Stephen B, Beck, Dodger, Zeno, Rue, Turnover, Pebble, M, Fox, Dog, Swine, Jalou, and Piper. Ah, got them all. <laughs> hey, we got a bunch of chairlings too, but you guys are like super awesome, too awesome to even be mentioned. We dare not do it. Carl, Mike, our Theoretics, New World, Hisnoculus, John, Ejab, Gamatron, you know, and DSN, Joe, Aromatic, Devin, Kajor, I are fine, upstanding cannibals. Thank you very much. I was just kidding, Cherlin. You make the show happen too. Just yeah, you, you, We'd have to slow it down. The uh, bulk of the money is coming from you, so... Something I Thank discovered you. in Google Docs is there's a one-point font. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I was able to read it on my phone, surprisingly. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. I was walking my dog, too. I'm like, what's this? What's this? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm like, oh, you, 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 you're cute, Ben. You're cute. Yeah, 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 Ben Colors. <laughs> All right. Till next week, everybody. Down to fire. Bye. Okay, I had to look up the context as to why I told them to get fucked. Yeah, point number one on their GitHub is join Discord. Fuck yeah, yeah. let's go. <laughs> get fucked. <laughs> I, listen, I saw the words get fucked. So. <laughs> yeah, no, it's I, like, okay, no, that sounds like a good idea. Why would I tell them to get fucked? All right, look at their GitHub. Point one, join Discord. Get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Five dudes.